good morning students in today's topic is the friction students in the previous video i discussed about the contact and non contact forces the force which comes to play when the two bodies are physically in contact that is called contact force so we put the example of the frictional force and muscular force these are the contact forces now in this chapter we have to describe about the friction so first of all what is the friction before going to define it we have to take an example of the motion of a bicycle so dear students when we pedal on the bicycle then bicycle moves on the road is it true yes what happens when we stop pedaling when we stop pedaling mean then we see that the bicycle after covering some distance comes to rest it means the speed of the bicycle slows down gradually and then a uh, bicycle comes to rest now there is question then when we apply the force on the pedal then the bicycle moves why does the speed of the bicycle does not change but by the definition of the force uh, in previous chapter as we defined that the force is the agency which leads to change the state of motion so when the body is already in motion then what will happen if the force is applied on the pedal it may change the state of motion means change the speed of the bicycle it it has to increase the speed of the bicycle but this doesn't happen and when we stop the uh, pedaling the bicycle then bicycle comes to rest this means when we stop pedaling then the something is there which opposes the motion of the bicycle otherwise no need to apply the force further to move the bicycle so the force which always opposes the motion that is act in a direction opposite to the direction of motion that is called opposing force and this opposing force is named as the friction or force of friction so we can define here the force of friction now the force opposes any relative motion between two objects that are in contact with each other is called the force of friction okay once again the force that opposes any relative motion between two objects that are in contact now you you are in doubt that the two objects which are in contact one is bicycle another is road so there are two surfaces so the two surfaces are in contact so when the two objects are in contact to each other is called the force of friction now next is nature of the friction nature of the first point it always acts in a direction opposite to the direction of motion so bicycle moves in the right side force of friction is towards the left side in that is opposite direction of the motion it always acts between two surfaces in contact means the force of friction is a contact fo contact force it always acts between the two surfaces in contact here and here third one is it depends on the nature of the roughness or smoothness so when the surface is rough that is uneven road then it requires more force to pedal on the bicycle it means the opposing force is also more when the surface is uneven but if the surface is smooth then less force is required to move the bicycle it means there is less opposing force that is friction so it always opposes its nature depends on the roughness or smoothness of the surface in contact point number 4 it does not depend on the area of contact so it doesn't matter that what's the area of contact of the two surfaces in contact is it only depends on the nature of the surface not the area of the surface next point is it depends upon the force pressing that is weight on the surface in contact two surfaces in contact so here you take the example that this is a block which is kept on the xy surface so block has some weight in downwards due to this weight the force of friction how much is acted between the two surface on this one is depending it means you see that the force of friction depends on the roughness and smoothness of the surface in contact and force of friction depends on the force pressing 
the two surfaces in contact so how much weight is there in this activity second we have taken first one book so there is less force is required to pull it then we have increased the number of books adding one more so here the force is increased therefore force of friction is also increased when the number of books are increased one after another added here more and more then more force is required to pull the this set of books this is because the force of friction is also increased this means the force of friction depends on how much the weight is applied that is how much load is there on the two surfaces in contact right so the force of friction depends on the surface roughness and smoothness of surface and the weight up to how much weight is pressing the two surfaces in contact in these two factors the force of friction depends right thank you